ideally you'd scrape back till you get the rock so sure. you've got a sure foundation. But if you can't do that, you just have to literally start on the sand. Uh -huh. If you've got rock close at hand, it's worthwhile that wee bit of extra digging to get down to something hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 Obviously stone, all different sizes of stones, um, usually from old buildings, it's no being used any longer. Hmm. Yeah, because say we Alistair got some from what was Buin, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh. Got some of the air, it's just a, a shade, there was, the roof was falling in the, and they didn't need it any longer. So that was the idea, you some there. And some some from the beach as well, obviously. There's some below the area we've been, we've been using. And some from the other side of the island where there were some more good stones that have been thrown up in the sea. Hmm. But still perfect for this job. Yeah. And then some of the <coughs> stone they used was from the quarry as well, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Took in some big stones today as well, just to help the and they make some steps there and ends to the the Cassie wall. Yeah. For a string, yeah, yeah. So, whether it's two stones or something on each end to put a line between, uh -huh. yeah, so as you can kind of keep it reasonably straight, yeah. So, yeah. like I say, the shore's no straight, so you you do just have to work with it, yeah, because if you're going to put backfill and you don't want to be putting in great lots of it, so you put it in follow the shoreline, follow the shoreline, so yeah. it's obviously, but you need wee bits of straightness, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I suppose you're looking for a like say a kind of variation from like your bottom layer of Cassie, what would you kind of look for then? Well I didn't look for the kind of the bigger stones and I like ones with no completely square in the corner if a wee bit of slob on them so that the whole wall is hanging back just a wee bit so that when the sea hits it that hopefully it kind of goes up along it rather than just hitting like a flat wall. It's nice to have some big ones at the bottom, but you, yeah. need, you just need to be filling it up. You're, you, it's no point going all big ones, you've got to be kind of big, and then maybe a couple of small ones and another big one. But if you can get bigger ones at the bottom, so you don't need yeah. to, you don't want to be lifting them higher yeah. up, so it's, uh, yeah. it's just that sort of. Yeah. And how high is the best height, do you reckon? Because you were talking about the height today. So that depends on your shoreline. I mean, if you're shore, well, we're trying to put it up to the height of the shore uh -huh. behind it, so it's a re reasonably near that. Yeah. I guess if the shore was lower, you you wouldn't. There's no much. Well, it'd be nice to go higher up. The higher you can go, it yeah. I suppose the more protection it's going to be. But uh, you've got to have something behind it to to steady it all. To keep it, yeah. Four or five feet high. Yeah. High yeah. Well, that's what we're doing here. Is quite. Uh, I think yeah. it's re certainly reasonable for the coastline here. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in terms of like tension in the stone, do you mean because there's quite a bit of gaps in them? Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I guess it's good in some ways. Yeah, so get, get the anything that goes in is going to come out again. You've got gaps there, and you've got so I mean they have to be gaps. There's no way you can make that tight, and and, and it means that any surface water off the land can run through the stones as well. But we did try to paint them tight. Yeah, yeah, I mean they are tight. tight. Some tight. stones, yeah, they're tight. It. Yeah. yeah. Quite so solid, so it doesn't yeah. actually. There's no movement in the sideways. Yeah. There's no, no movement, movement in the sideways. But it is, yeah, you don't, every gap's not filled in. No. Sorry, going back to the biggest, I want to hit bigger ones and smaller ones. Kind of time, time about it so that the, the next layer kind of joins in with it better. It's like a jigsaw puzzle in almost mm. in a way, but it's, it's basically so that the, if they're all one size, the first row, it wouldn't hold together. It needs. Longer ones and shorter ones, the first row, so at least the one holds the other. Yeah, so you're kind of knitting it together. Yeah, you're knitting it together, that's yeah. right. Yeah.
and that second layer is always much harder isn't it I think yes it, it is it takes, more... as, it takes longer than the first row because it has to be where it kind of fits up between the gaps of the tile stones in the next next one mm -hmm. and once you've got that first layer in would you backfill up to that one at that point it's easier if it is because if you don't um, sometimes the demon didn't have time to get that in um, fill in some, some smaller stones to hopefully to pin it so it does not really topple over until they get the backfill in, in. Mm. Uh, yeah it is much easier if it's there this, at the time after the first row is in mm. and it helps to keep it up there and then next lock goes in across and binds it together and would you be trying to make you know using thinner ones to kind of wedge in just to yeah, to pin it tight. Kind of tension. And, and hit a doom with another stone or a, or a wee hammer if you have a hammer with you to make it kind of solid then so it doesn't, doesn't move. Because if it's moving too easily, the sea's going to knock it to bits in no time at all if it comes up to it. You must pin it mm. with thin stones just to jam it in tight. In terms of like backfill, that you know would what would that consist of? What could it? Con I know we've used obviously the, the glass from the recycling here yeah. as a means of using that. I mean. That hopefully what? helps to let water run through it. That's the idea. And, uh, and, and if you fill it with some smaller stones at the back, but it helps to see it come in slightly and then to go through it again without actually knocking it to bits. Yeah, so it kind of absorbs that energy. Yeah. And then. Like in the last year, we used it, like the old metal, we used uh, big chips. Chip, chip stones and it was the same idea to top it to let the water run in through it and, and no no take it away and yeah, let, let's, yeah let's any surface water run off the land as well yeah water from the land as well yeah it's both yeah. just a double job yeah and uh, how long do they normally last like what's the average <laughs> well that was obviously built I would imagine over there it's been I think say, likely in the 1800s I would imagine I haven't said that I think they were it's bigger stone it's in them than what we're maybe yeah. working with so it'd be interesting to see how long mm. I don't see any reason why this will not last mm. we just have to do some years in the yeah. future pin some stones yeah. between it just to mm. make it more yeah. solid again mm -hmm. that, that would just be if it's idea. kept up I mean if it is kept up yeah. regularly every now and again just somebody going around it and just shoving in some stones that's mm -hmm. going to want to preserve it for oh, I yeah. think mm -hmm. a long time mm -hmm. yeah. all the beans and if there comes to be a huge storm for the southeast in the direction or quite a word, who knows what will happen it yeah. might mm -hmm. take a lot of the way and wind go yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. you, tend, you tend to think yeah, said, if you put anything hard like this up against the shore you're going to you come to an end when it stops because you don't you know going further there'll be a soft spot where the yeah. sand it'll, it'll, the seal tend to run in behind it then that's why you're I think you're going to get more mm -hmm. problem with hitting in there and it'll eat in beyond your cassie yeah. and then it'll tend to funnel in behind it and it might sort of have a carry a note effect mm -hmm. yeah. that's yeah. Uh, so we really needed the whole way around the island uh -huh. which will be in yeah. the year <laughs> Passed on now. generation to generation. Yes, that's needed, yeah. Yeah.